Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to R Square Technology. I'm your host, Ryan, and let's get right into SolidWorks. So, in today's random fun with SolidWorks video, we're going to do yet another part from our friends on Instagram, Let's Design in CAD with two Ds at the end. The handle name will be in the description below for you to check them out. So, what we're going to do here is what I would consider to looks like an axle flange kind of part. So uh, let's get into it. Uh, first, let's say we're going to actually build this on the top plane. So your preference as always. Since there's no assembly for this, it really won't matter which one you start on. We'll throw ourselves into a sketch here. I'm actually going to start with the cylindrical axle slash bearing housing portion, if you will. And let's take note of something here. We want to make sure that we're in uh, millimeter gram second for this. This is not an imperial drawing. Everything's in metric. All right, so we've got a OD of 75. We have two different IDs. We have a 56. So we'll do it. Let's do it this way for fun, shall we? So we're going to add all profiles at once here. This first ID is 56. Next is. This is our th through all ID. That's going to be 38. Right. So, close that. We're going to go straight into the features tab. We're going to boss extrude. And I want to choose mid plane for this, believe it or not. Might have chose blind, but again, I'm. Kind of being a little bit fancy here about it. So we're going to take this and our overall height is 75. Okay, cool. Now we're going to go select our sketch over here, which has been absorbed by the boss extrude. We're going to boss extrude again. We're going to choose this inner part and 75, so it's an a recess of 10 mil each side, so that would be 55. And just like that, we've created the first part or of this piece, if you will. Kind of show you the profile going on here. We got a funky key way to put in here. So we'll go to the top for that. And the keyway is actually on this surface here, so I'll sketch from there. I'm going to make a center line that goes from the other side and goes out. I went past, and this is going to be 41. And then from here, because again, we're building a keyway cutout, I'm going to do a midpoint line. And we can reach up to here, grab these. Oops, I did a midpoint. Apologies for that. We'll grab a regular line here. Go to this. I'm going to choose a convert entity for the circle. Then I'm going to power trim it because I don't want all of that there. And then we need to give this width a dimension, and it is 10. We're fully defined. Now we're going to go to our Features tab, do an Extrude Cut. We're going to do a Through All Both in this case, just to be sure. There's the keyway. Control S. We're saving often for this, folks. All right, now our next part is kind of adding the flange piece to it. Make sure I didn't miss anything on this main part. OK. So I'm going to bring it isometric. Now here's what we're going to do here. We're going to actually click on this bottom. I'm going to create a plane reference geometry with zero offset. 
and then I'm going to bring that normal to and goes out this way so actually let's do this scratch that we're going to go back to isometric we're going to remove that plane and let's see here 28 inch height so I'm going to choose my right plane and here I'm going to do a plane offset of 113 millimeter gives us our end condition we'll sketch on that normal to and corner to corner is fine we'll do something like this now I'm going to do this in two unique ways so this height here is 28 now we're fully defined we're actually going to boss extrude and we're going to go up to surface rotate clicking with the center scroll wheel on the mouse up to here as such looking good all right save that then we're going to hide this then we're going to click on this surface control weight to make it normal to choose a sketch and do another corner to corner and from here we're going to do with 28 and then we'll close out a smart dimension with boss extrude and then we're going to choose keep it on up to surface and we're going to make it level with this surface here looking good starting to take shape we're going to select this back side here space bar i'm going to bring it normal to this way or control 8 pick your poison then we're going to select this face here do a sketch and then what I'm going to do here is a midpoint line with an X amount of width and we'll click down to there it's first this is going to be 19 I notice something it didn't take the coincident relation this needs to be midpoint of this edge there we go one our sketch is fully defined we're gonna actually do a um, three point arc here so one two and three and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these two endpoints the arc and give them a horizontal relation and then we're gonna make this depth 25 mil and then I also want to make this arc have a tangent relation and then this should have a radius of 9.5 mil okay fully defined we need to add a line here because we're making a slot of sorts and then from here we're going to extrude cut and I want to do this let's do an up to surface on this one and on this side click OK looking good Bring this isometric and now let's do a quick sectional view so you can see what's going on here so far so so far we've got this looking close to the drawing almost there we just have some uh, radius fillets to add to touch up this feature and of course adding some color to it space bar will bring it back isometric and from here we're going to choose the fillet command and we want 10 mil radius so I'll select this side and this side click OK looking good and that is all the dimensions given here so we're gonna save this bring it back isometric look at this beautiful and then I'm gonna press the center scroll wheel on the mouse to just kinda rotate and show you what this part looks like in its completion there were no other fillet radiuses to add to this so the last thing we'll do is we can just right click anywhere on the part and then over here on appearance we're going to choose the external faces not all of this has color to it so we'll start with this face here uh, yeah, it looks almost like a 
magenta almost. Yeah, we'll go with that. Not perfectly the same, but pretty close. So it would look, appear that, and I'm just clicking on the faces that I want to add the color to. Um, it's unknown with the bottom, but why not? Minus that internal axle area here. Oh, let's not forget this top piece though. And there we have it, folks. And then we can make sure real graphics is turned on here. And that is our beautiful axle looking flange setup. Thank you for watching this random fun tutorial video. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.